Hey guys, today we're going to review the Opus BTC3100 version 2.2 charger. Right off the bat, I'm going to apologize for the audio. I've been a little bit sick this week. I think I had a little late season flu. And plus, there's kind of a loud fan on this charger. So, just uh, bear that in mind and I do apologize. Now, this is a really cool, just fully packed charger that can do a lot. And it's also very beginner friendly. Now, this is sent to me by Gearbest and they asked that I do a review and put it out for you today on the 21st to kind of uh, advertise their anniversary sale. Now, Gearbest, if you, you can do all the hunting you want, you are not going to find a better price on this charger than you do at Gearbest. They're selling it right now for about $25. Anywhere else, you're talking $40, $50. So they really do have the best price. And what I've found is with a lot of equipment, they do tend to have really good prices on so it's always a great place to check out and plus you know they're not only good for flashlights and batteries and chargers you can also get the gonzo knives and the gonzo multi-tools and all that stuff that you've seen here so i'll put links to those things down in the description give them a try guys i've actually spent a lot of money on them and bought quite a bit of gear from them and have been very happy with every purchase i've made and uh, they've also been very supportive and sent a few things my way to help uh and do reviews. So let's get into this thing. I know we wasted a lot of time already. So this thing basically is going to charge pretty much anything you got from your nickel metal hydrides to your various different size lithium ions and even your nickel cadmiums. I know not many people use the nickel cadmiums anymore, but if you do, they're still out there. So it also has multiple features on top of the ability to charge. You can also discharge batteries as well as do a charge test and a uh, internal resistance test on the batteries. And you can do these through each individual channel at different currents and voltage, or at different currents that you set into it, which is really fantastic. So if you're doing something throughout the day, like you see here, I have a nickel metal hydride that's charging at, I think, 500 amps, or 500 milliamps, I'm sorry. You have a uh, 14500 that I'm doing a uh, charge test on. And when that's done, that'll actually flash the number of amps, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the capacity in milliamp hours uh, there, which it's going to take a couple hours to do. Uh, here, we have a battery discharging at one amp, and that's an 18350 battery. And that basically will run dry, and then uh, you can read the capacity on it. It's really not the best way to test it, but it's a quick way to do it. That's really good for if you're using uh, nickel cadmium batteries and you want to drain it, you don't get that memory effect. And then we have a uh, 18650 charging at one amp. So some of the cool things about this, the charging amps go from 200 milliamp hours, 500, 700, and 1000 milliamp hours, which is really good for a wide variety of batteries because small batteries like these little 10440s, you really should only be charging at about, you know, two, 300 milliamp hours. And when you buy a charger like, say this Nightcore D, uh, D2, it only charges at 500. So it tends to be a little rough on your, your smaller batteries. Now on the opposite, when you have those 26650s, you know, if you're charging at 500 milliamp hours, you could literally take 10 hours to charge a big 26650. So this allows you to also charge at 2,000 milliamp hours or two amps in charger one and four, which is awesome. But you can only use those two. You can't exceed four amps with this. So you can do one on each bay or two on the outers. I just figured I'd clarify that real quick. Another cool capability that's not actually well advertised is that this can charge the 4.35 volt batteries. If you actually open up the case, there's a little switch inside and you can flip that up and it will charge up to 4.35 volts. So, as much as I love this uh, XTAR, which I bought just for the sole purpose of having that uh, charging capability, I no longer need it because I have this, and I can charge four batteries at once instead of two. And plus, you know, has that uh, ability to uh, charge at the higher amperages. You know, so basically what I've effectively done is been able to combine using this, which I use for my nickel metal hydrides, which I don't need to anymore because I can use this, charge four and charge at the higher capacity. I can charge them at one amp each. I no longer need this to charge my 4.35s. And I no longer need this Miller for the quick charging. This charges is around 1.2 amps. Don't really need it anymore because this does all of that and does it well. 
it charges everything I have. And it does it with four bays, and each individual bay can be controlled differently, which is really great. It's really easy to use, too, guys. I've been telling you, when you, you basically just, you know, you pop a battery in, out. It's going to, uh, I didn't leave it out long enough. Oh, but you basically change your modes. You got discharge, discharge refresh, which will basically drop it and then recharge it, which is good for new batteries or batteries that have been sitting. Your charge test. Your quick test, which will show a real quick uh, internal resistance. I don't find it to be very accurate. Actually, I've done it like multiple times over and over, and you get kind of different results. So, not the best. You see, it takes a couple seconds, and that one shows uh, 150, which I don't think is very accurate, to be honest. But we'll just uh, leave it at that. I don't have any other way to test to confirm that. So, let's talk about safety. Now, one of the big things with me with chargers is safety. Is this thing going to blow up, turn into a hand grenade, and poison your entire family with these lithium batteries? And what I found is no. I actually let this thing go quite a few times overnight and then tested the batteries in the morning, and I did not have any batteries overcharge. In fact, this does undercharge a slight bit. Every time I left a battery in for 6, 8, 10, 12 hours, I found them to be rated about 4.18 volts or 4.19 volts. They were always very, very close and never over. Occasionally you've got one at like 4.15 or so, but what happens is, is when this shuts off, the uh, lithium ions have no trickle being sent to them, and then what happens is they discharge uh, very slightly due to the, the just being connected, and then once they go down below a certain point, they start charging again. So that is one thing. However, nickel metal hydrides, if you leave them in the charger, they will trickle charge them when they're done. So I did want to point that out. So I had no overcharges, and trust me guys, I ran this thing a lot. I, it's really important to me, the most important thing about a charger is safety. You know, beyond features, if you can't trust it, I don't want it. So uh, I did test that pretty extensively, leaving batteries in, different kinds, different voltages, just to see, will this thing overcharge if you're running it at two amps? Uh, will it, you know, overcharge if you're running in low end, the 200 milliamp hour setting. So I really wanted to make sure because you never know. And the last thing you need in your house is a fire because of a charger. So I ran this thing day after day after day, overnight with different batteries and didn't have any issues. And just so you know guys, I did do it in a very safe manner. I put it into a big large stock pot with a lid. That way if there was any fire or explosion, it would be contained there. But it is not a safe practice to leave uh, batteries for long periods of time in any charger because if they overheat, something goes wrong, there's that risk of explosion. But I did test it and found no issues with the overcharging. Uh, the only major complaint I have is the fan is kind of loud. You can hear it, it's pretty loud. And the only other issue I had in testing was, I don't have them here, but I'll kind of show you on another battery is I have some 16340 batteries which are the rechargeable CR123s that are like this they're a flat top and those 16340s are kind of short and they make kind of a poor contact with the uh, end on the top there because they're almost recessed a little bit if you look really closely you see these are almost kind of recessed behind there a little bit these ones work fine. These ones make great contact, as you can see, no problem. But the uh, 16340s didn't. I think it's because they're shorter and if they're at the very end of where that spring comes up. So that is one complaint I did have, but that's literally one kind of battery. All my, my Olight and XTAR 16340s were fine. It was just one little, you know, flat top one that didn't make great connection. You can easily remedy that with just a small magnet or something like that to help make a better uh, connection so there you go guys it's really simple to use you can you know the a good thing another safety point i gotta make too as well is you can't change your current while you're charging so here like oh that's okay so this one's nickel metal hydride charging so what happens if uh say your kid walks by and says hey i'm just gonna jump this up to like 2000 amps no they cannot do it you cannot change the current without pulling it out and putting it back in. So once you do that, then you can change the current. 
which is really cool because if you do have someone who maybe isn't as familiar with these things, then uh, you can. Uh, we're going to change that mode. See, we'll set the charge. See the different voltages. 200. We'll leave it on 200. So, really cool. And like I said, like it because it does nickel metal hydrides and lithium, but only 500 milliamps. Too much for the 4, 10 440s. Works great for those 4.35s, but you know, that's it. It's kind of limited. Nice, but only one, no digital readout. This does everything my three other chargers do, and it has a nice digital readout. It's easy to use, it's safe. And this is something my wife is comfortable using because it does have that charge, the readout. Something like this, you know, my wife looks at this, she gets kind of confused, she's hitting buttons, you know. And it's not the best thing to have people who are unsure of themselves using, some, you know, stuff around the lithium ions. So, there it is, guys. Really nice charger, really nice quality, really great price out of Gearbest. Take a look and check it out.